Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I didn't know if I was gonna be filming this video in Nashville or in San Diego, so I'm filming it in San Diego. It is so sunny and so freaking pretty today. Holy hell. I was just thinking, I was like, I probably should take my Bronco out for a ride, but I've been working all day. So <laughs> um, today we're going to take a tour of my brand new motorhome. I purchased a motorhome recently. I posted a couple pictures of it on social. I think my lash is falling off. Um, it's been a little windy. Uh, I got a motorhome recently. I bought it in Georgia. I had been looking for a motorhome for kind of a, what feels like a long time so I could bring all of my animals back to San Diego. And I actually have been wanting one for a while anyways. That just pushed me to get one sooner. But I have been going camping. Hopefully that's not too windy. I've been going camping since I was about two years old and in a bucket. And then my parents got a motorhome and I have been camping at the river in the desert with them literally forever. I'm 32 years old and I'm a little as grateful as I am that my parents allowed me to cram all my shit and myself in their motorhome and like shove cocktails down my throat. I'm, it was a little getting a little annoying to have to clean up my bed every single morning because I would sleep on the dining room, you know, the dining room folds out. So I decided to get a motorhome of my own so that Nick and I, when we go camping with my parents, can no longer take up all of their space and have our own space and I can have as much shit in my closet and bathroom as I wish. So let's go ahead and give you guys a tour of my motorhome. There is one thing that I was looking for with a motorhome. Well, among many things, but one thing that was super important to me was having an outside like kitchen area. I saw it more like a bar. So it was super important for me to have that in the motorhome. Now this motorhome doesn't have that, but what it does have totally made up for it. It has two full bathrooms. That's right. It's got a shower and a toilet in the back of the RV in our bedroom and towards the front by the kitchen. So super awesome because we can shit in one in the morning and get ready in the other, or he can be in that one getting ready for bed and I can be in the other one getting ready for bed and leave all my shit all over the counter. So it works out. Um, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a tour and uh, let's get started. I'm so excited to show you guys the inside. Thanks for watching. What the fuck? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Here she is. She has two slides. This is one of them. This is the smaller of the slides. This is actually the bed. And this is the motorhome that we have not named. Um, actually, Nick thinks he's named it Moby Dick, but I'm not sure if we're gonna stick, stick with that. So if you have any ideas, let me know. But uh, this is a 32 foot Ace Thor 2018. I freaking love this motorhome. I really love the people we bought it from. Um, and actually I bought it, <laughs> I should be aware that. I really love the people that I bought this motorhome from. We drove to Georgia to get it and they were just like the kindest, coolest people. And they were very, very, very excited to see it go to Nick and I. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's, I think we might take all of these little accents off and I have to say a big shout out to Nick. He cleaned this entire thing himself the other day and he did such a fantastic job. So this is the front. He actually already removed the, um, says Ace up there. He already removed the like the decals right here. We actually soon are gonna be building a barn to house this bad boy and this. This is the trailer that I bought um, to bring all of my shit from Nashville, not all of my shit, but like all my animal stuff filled up that entire, entire trailer. So this is the outside. This awning, I will show you guys at night. It has LED lights around it. And then right here, if this isn't locked, it might be locked. Whoa, shit balls. <laughs> Keeping me on my fucking toes. Uh, this is a TV. I don't really, I don't know if we'll ever use this. Kind of the only thing that I could think of that I might use this for is like if you're sitting out here on your cute little fucking rug with your little LED lights and a cocktail and maybe you turn on like just something for like a game the game or like you know I don't know like some waves for some like like a beach like for some ambiance 
but kind of the point of camping is like enjoy your surroundings and stuff so i've never really been a huge fan of entertainment like this when you're camping but that's just me I'm not gonna show you all the rest of the storage because this is not an infomercial for this brand of motorhome. This is not sponsored, but hi Ace, if you would like to sponsor me, or Thor rather, I think that's actually the manufacturer, <laughs> then I am down. It also does have an outdoor um, shower on the other side, which is gonna be really good for Nick because he surfs. And <clears throat> so I pulled one of the slide outs out. And when you come in, it's got this like really cool, like new kind of floor, which I really like. Um, we've got to figure out some artwork because this uh, is, <laughs> it's got to go. Uh, we've got some really nice artwork here. Uh, <laughs> just take it all in, take it all in. This is when we played Django, which was in one of the last vlogs too, in here when we were on our way from Nashville to San Diego. Okay, so here's the other slide so you can see this pattern right here of this wood this entire thing is a slide so we will slide this out oh shit i gotta move this chair really quick i can i've already ruined this chair pretty bad right here we will put this slide out so you guys can see This is great. It's like Indiana Jones and the walls closing. While we're going over this tour, if you have any decoration ideas, please leave them in the comments below. Or if you have any, there's this gnat following me around. Um, if you have any ideas or links, please leave them. I'd love to see what you guys have because we definitely need to replace that picture and a couple other things. We will start up here. So I'm not gonna take it down right now, but this is actually a queen size bed that comes all the way down and there's a ladder for that in the back so you can fit at least two people up there, which is awesome. One of the great things about buying used also is that this came with so many gadgets, like these little magnetic things for your phone. They were already, they were already here. Um, this, it came with this, this goes in here for charging phones, whatever. One of my favorite things here is <laughs> this. So this is actually a workbench and I can, have, I can put my computer here and I can charge my computer here and I can work right here with my laptop on my lap. It's pretty awesome. We will start up here. So I'm not gonna take it down right now, but this is actually a queen size bed that comes all the way down and there's a ladder for that in the back so you can fit at least two people up there, which is awesome. One of the great things about buying used also is that this came with so many gadgets, like these little magnetic things for your phone. They were already, they were already here. Um, this, it came with this. This goes in here for charging phones, whatever. One of my favorite things here is <laughs> this. So this is actually a workbench and I can have, I can put my computer here and I can charge my computer here and I can work right here with my laptop on my lap. It's pretty awesome. Then there's the driver's seat or captain's seat. Um, right here, there is a table that goes in there and maybe I'll try that out for you guys because I haven't actually put that in there. And then there is a mirror so you can see all the way back here. Lots of storage. We have a couch here that actually folds out into a bed as well. I freaking love that there are cup holders right here because in my parents' old motorhome, there um, was no cup holders and every time you were sitting on the couch, there was like nowhere to put your drink. One of the things about used is <laughs> things get broken. This is actually broken right now and doesn't stay up. So sorry, sloth. So we'll need to get that fixed. I think I probably would like to replace these. Like, I don't really love this. So then over here is our slide out. This actually turns into a bed as well. We have another TV because you can never have too many TVs, right? And then actually up here is the DVD player and all of that good stuff. Then we've got the kitchen. It came with all of these little things as well. So like everything, I don't know, everything, like all, all the little knickknacks that you would spend a lot of money on were already in here like this. You can have an extra space for, you know, after you're done cooking, you can put it on here. 
won't let it dry out. You can actually dry dishes here. There is a lot of ants in here right now. I'm going to have to put some ant traps in here. I got a big citronella candle. I got that at Walmart for $5. You know, I have my Nespresso. This little thing actually goes through there and attaches to itself so the cupboards don't open while you're driving, which is awesome. Another one of those things, like just knickknacky things that like came with it. This is a microwave. I'm pretty sure this is also a convection microwave. However, it was really important to me to get a motorhome with a oven. Um, I do use the oven quite a bit when I'm out camping because I can make things you know, like enchiladas and things like that that are just pre-made and easy to just pop in there. So I do use the oven quite a bit. I also make a spicy artichoke dip that I always put in there. This is, oh, let's see if I remember how to do this. There we go. This is the stove and you've got three burners. This works really well. Actually, I use this on the road. As you can tell, it's kind of fucking dirty. So then over here, we have our very first bathroom. Um, also came equipped with all of these types of like cleaning stuff, which was awesome. And this absolutely gorgeous nightlight. <laughs> Lots of storage in here. We have used, uh, utilized it very well, as you can see. Um, we have a full shower over here. I don't know what I meant by full shower. Like what's a half a shower? I don't really know. Maybe the one that's on the outside could be considered like a half a shower. <laughs> um, I don't think you can open this now. So that's the first bathroom. And these are kind of annoying actually because every, anytime you're up in the middle of the night and need to close or open one of these, it's, it's kind of loud. Um, but they are nice if they stay closed and don't bounce around. This is our fridge. It is pretty basic. I do need to clean it out. So don't judge me. Um, actually, really need to clean it out there's some mold in there right now so that's pretty gross <laughs> definitely need to clean that out i thought that this was all clean so then we've got the freezer this is a cupboard that actually came stocked with all this stuff like all this stuff was already in here it's great i bought these um but like all of these like um mugs and plates and everything were already in here which is really awesome we have another TV. <laughs> uh, then we've got some drawers down here, a cute little countertop space. We got these in uh, Prescott when we were there and I freaking love this place, the palace. But you know what was a huge bummer is the glasses that they had on the bar actually had this cool like diamond plate kind of thing at the bottom. And we were like, ooh, we'd love to buy some of these. And then we got these and I opened it. I was like, what the hell? Like, where's the cool bottom? Like, that's the whole reason I wanted them. But those are cool. Um, we really need to clean those mirrors. Wow. I probably should have cleaned this before I did this tour, but I just don't really give any fuck, so whatever. Lots of storage in here. I think I still have some clothes in here. Um, yeah. Lots of storage. It, there's the table right there for the front. And then it came with this already in there, which was awesome. Oh, those shorts. I was wondering where this stuff was. <laughs> I gotta bring this stuff inside. All these drawers, usable. And then it came with all of these, which was really awesome too. They like crafted a way to hang these, which is super awesome. Um, over here is the bed. And that's that little slide out that you see from the outside. Um, this is cool because it does have um, like a radio whatnot back here. And I think there's a spot for you to plug in like a phone to charge it back there. There's a couple drawers here, one drawer, and then some storage up there as well. So that's awesome. This is the ladder for the bed at the front. And then we have our last bathroom here. It's got quite a bit of storage as well, which is awesome. And then we have the shower and we've got one of those vents up here. And then this actually does open up and it has quite a bit of storage. So that is the motorhome in a nutshell. Let me know what you guys think I should do and what we should do to it. I think we need some like more exciting rugs and colors going on in here, but at least we're matching, you know? Okay, I just pulled everything out of the fridge to clean it, <laughs> but I figured there's no time like the present. Let's try and figure out how to put this table on here, in here. Okay, I think it's pretty simple. I think it literally just sits on top of that. And 
then these chairs both turn around, but I can't get under there now. So these turn around and you can face the table. How cool is that? Love it. All right, guys, that wraps up the tour of my Thor Ace 2018 motorhome. I was actually really um, interested in getting a, um, a like an old motorhome and like redoing it and like making that a project on the YouTube channel and just with Nick. I think it'd be really fun to do, but I've seen something really reliable to get out here. So maybe we'll still do that when we have the barn. But now it's time to build a barn so that we can actually store this bad boy in there without it getting damaged from the sun, rats, mice, etc. So yeah, if you guys have any design ideas or like gadgets that you have for your motorhome or that you've seen, I would absolutely love to hear about it and I would really appreciate it because we are brand new to motorhome life and definitely need to like put some cool shit here to like make it more us and more homey. So leave a link in the description, I mean in the comments, not the description box. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.